Digital Trends Mobile World Congress coverage is presented by Virgin Mobile. Jeff here with Digital Trends, and we are at day two of Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona. So uh, let's check out some of the cool things we saw today. Jeff here with Digital Trends, and we're at the LG booth here at Mobile World Congress, and we're looking at the Tabbook LTE. This is one of the first tablets or even laptops that I've seen from LG in a while. This is a full Windows 8 tablet here, and uh, as you can see, special feature is it can kind of pop open. And we're checking out the new LG Optimus G Pro. So it's got a pretty good camera, 13 megapixel rear camera, 2.1 megapixel front with a little bit of a widescreen. But if you're uh, recording video, which can uh, just switch into video mode here, and go to options and do dual recording, and it'll actually, you can see my lovely face there, it'll actually record you while you're recording on the rear camera. So you're recording two sides at once, and you can kind of adjust the picture up here. You can tap it to switch if you want to make, if I want to make myself the star of the show, which, which I do. I just caught up with Lewis, who is uh, showing a new app off today at the show, and uh, it's called Pass and Fly. Can you tell us a little bit about this? It works with the US Airlines, it works with Australian Airlines, with Castaway Pacific, with Thai, it works with uh, European Airlines, British Airways. So, in fact, you can have one application for all of them and get checked into your flights and have all your boarding classes at one place. You can say, I would like to sit in my next flight at the window because I love New York and I would like to see the skyscrapers. Whatever you like to, you set that up and once you set it up, you will be automatically uh, checked into this seat. We are at the SUS booth of Mobile World Congress and we're checking out the new phone pad. So this is, it'll look, it looks a lot like a Nexus 7. Uh, it's a seven inch, you might think it's a tablet, but it's actually a seven inch phone. Um, not sure why you'd exactly need a seven inch phone, but if you do, now you have one to choose from. That about wraps it for today. Be sure to check back to digitaltrends.com for more hands-on coverage of all these products and more.